So hello friends, a very good morning to all of you. So today we are going to discuss uh, exercise two of a uh, pair of straight lines. In the last video, we have already covered the first exercise. So today we will discuss exercise two, okay? So without wasting any time, let's start. So yes pair of straight lines yes here comes the first question of exercise two so the question is saying find the angle between the pair of straight lines given by this equation y square sine square theta so let me write the equation y square sine square theta minus x y sine square theta and uh, plus x square cos square theta minus one right is equal to zero so yes obviously uh, this equation is giving us a pair of straight lines right it is a homogeneous second uh, second degree equation so it will uh, it will give us a pair of straight lines now we have to find the angle between this pair of straight lines okay so let me discuss one theory part not theory part uh how how do we find the uh, angle between the pair of straight lines we used to find it by this formula right tan theta is equal to 2 2 times under root of h square minus a b upon mod of a plus b right now this is the angle between the two lines Okay, and uh, for this equation, this our uh, standard uh, second degree homogeneous equation that is a x square plus two h x y plus b y square is equal to zero. So if uh, if our pair of straight lines is given by this equation, then the angle between these uh, lines, when uh, angle between the pair of straight lines is given by this formula, tan theta is equal to two into under root h square minus a b upon a plus b right now if you observe if you observe uh if a is equal to b or a equal to minus b right a equal to minus b or you can say if a plus b is equals to zero then our theta comes out to be 90 degree why because this if this will be uh, zero degree our tan theta will approach to infinity that means our theta will be 90 degree so what is a plus b what is a plus b a plus b is nothing but the sum of the coefficient of x square and y square coefficient of y square so let's observe the coefficient of x square here so if you compare it if you compare this equation with our standard equation uh, the value of a here is a is what coefficient of x square that is cos square theta minus one right and what is b b is the coefficient of y square that is sine square theta so if you add this if you add the coefficient of x square and y square what you are getting we are getting cos square theta minus one and uh, plus sine square theta so this cos square theta plus sine square theta will be one minus one that is zero so the value of a plus b is coming out to be zero. What does it signify? It means the angle between the pair of straight lines will be 90 degree. The angle will be 90 degree. Angle will be 90 degree between the pair of straight lines, which is given by this particular equation, right? So if you see the options, we are getting pi by two. So this option B is correct for this question. So hope this is clear to all of you. So the only thing what we used to know, what we need to know is if the coefficient of x square and the coefficient of y square, if their sum is coming out to be zero, it means the angle between the lines will be 90 degree. Okay. So moving to the next question, uh, let's uh, see this question number two. The angle between the lines given by the equation a is y square minus 1 plus lambda square into xy minus a x square equal to 0 is same as the angle between the lines. Okay, so let's analyze or let's observe the given equation. It is 
ए वाई स्क्वायर माइनस वन प्लस लैमडा स्क्वायर इंटू एक्स वाई एंड माइनस ए एक्स स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व हि इफ यू ऑब्जर्व हि here also the coefficient of x square and the coefficient of y square is minus a and plus a means the sum of that the uh, sum of coefficient of x square and y square is coming out to be zero in this case also right so the sum of coefficient of x square or you can say uh, coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square is coming out to be zero what does it mean it mean the angle between them will be 90 degree right so uh, the question is not not asking the angle between these lines but it is uh, saying that we have to find the equation of lines whose angle is uh, who's the uh, like we have to find the equation of that lines uh, where the angle between the lines is 90 degree okay so we have to go option wise there is no other option right so if you see means angle between this angle between required lines should be 90 degree or pi by 2 whatever you can see so if you observe the first equation it's 5x square 5x square plus 2xy and minus 3y square is equal to 0 so here if you see a plus b is not a plus b is not coming out to be zero okay it means the angle between these lines will not be 90 degree okay a for a in this case is 5 and b in this case is minus 3 so basically a plus b is coming out to be uh, 2 which is not equal to zero so uh, let's check the second option here you see x square minus 2xy minus 3y square is equal to 0 so here if you see the sum of a plus b we are having 1 and what is the coefficient of y square minus 3 so here it is minus 2 and that is also not equal to 0 so this will be not our answer the second option b option will also be incorrect let's uh, see this third option x square minus y square uh Minus hundred is equal to zero. So here, if you see uh, a plus b, so what is a here? A is one, b is minus one. Yeah, it is coming out to be zero. Hence, the angle will be ninety degree between these lines, between this uh, pair of lines. Okay. Now let's see the uh, next option. D option is saying x y equal to zero. Now what? what is the meaning of xy equal to 0 basically it is representing our coordinate axis that is x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 so this xy equal to 0 means x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 and these are nothing but our coordinate axis okay and what is the angle between the coordinate axis it's 90 degree obviously so basically we are having this option c and option d as the correct option right because we need to we had to identify the uh, equation of lines where the angle between them is 90 degree so we are getting this option c and this option d as the correct option okay now moving to the next question here it is saying which of the following pair of straight lines intersect at a right angles okay so same concept we have to uh, see the coefficient of x square and y square which of the following pair of straight lines intersect at right angles okay so let's check this option a it is 2x square is equal to uh, xy and uh, plus 2y square okay so here we can write it as 2x square minus xy minus 2y square is equal to 0 so clearly here a plus b is coming out to be 0 right a is 2 b is minus 2 so obviously a plus b will be equal to 0 that means the angle will be 90 degree between these pair of straight lines now let's see the option b if you see the option b it is x square plus y square plus 2xy Is equal to y x or x y 
let me write it as x y only x y and uh, plus three x square. So if you take this to the left hand side, we will have uh, plus x square minus three x square minus minus two x square. Okay, plus two x y minus x y will be plus x y and plus y square is equal to zero. So here, if you observe a plus b is how much? A is minus two and B is one. So it is minus one and that is not equal to zero. Hence this option B is incorrect. Now let's see this option C. It will be two X Y and plus two Y square minus X Y equal to zero. So basically there is no X square term at all. So no, two uh, Y square. Okay, two Y square and what? minus x1 is equal to 0. So this will be also not our option. And let's see this option D. Y is equal to plus minus 2x. So we can write it as y equal to 2x and y is equal to minus 2x. Okay. So basically the pair of equation, pair of a straight line, we can represent it as y minus 2x and into y plus 2x is equal to 0. Now let's open it. So it will be y square plus 2xy minus 2xy, okay, and minus 4x square is equal to 0. So this plus 2xy minus 2xy will get cancelled out. And uh, we are having uh, minus 4x square and plus y square is equal to 0. So here also a plus b is not coming out to be 0. So hence this option d is also incorrect. So only option where we are getting the angle between the lines to be 90 degrees is this option a. So let's stick this option in. This will be our uh, correct answer to this question. Now, moving to the next question, the question 4. Question number four is saying, if H square is equal to AB, then the lines represented by this homogeneous equation, homogeneous second degree equation are parallel, coincident or perpendicular. So this is our standard second degree equation, 2HXY plus BY square is equal to zero. And we know it will represent a pair of straight lines passing through origin, the angle between those two lines will be two times under root of h square minus a b upon mod ka a plus b. Okay. Now the question is saying if h square is equal to a b, if h square is equal to a b, what does it mean? What does it mean? This complete thing in the numerator will become zero, right? This complete thing in the numerator will become zero. That means our tan theta will become zero. Means the angle between the lines will be zero. Okay, so basically, what does it mean? Angle between the lines will be zero means what? The, a, the both the lines will be coincident. No, they will lie one uh, one above another, right? So they uh, both the lines will represent uh, will coincide. Okay, that's why our tan theta is coming out to be zero. So if tan theta uh, tan theta is zero, it means if the angle between the lines will be zero, it means it means both the lines will be coincident, right? Both the lines will be coincident. So from here, we have derived, uh, we have seen two things. First of all, if A plus B is equals to zero, that means the both the lines will be at 90 degree and or both the lines will be perpendicular. And if H square is equal to AB, that will represent that the lines are actually coincident, okay? So I hope everyone is clear on this. <clears throat> so moving to the next question. It is saying the equation AX cube minus 9X square Y minus XY square plus 4Y cube equal to zero represents three straight lines. Okay. So the given equation is representing three straight lines. Uh, further, the question is saying if the two of the lines are perpendicular, then we have to find the value of a. Okay. So the given equation is representing uh, three straight lines. Okay. So let's first write the equation. So it is a x cube, a x cube 
माइनस नाइन एक्स स्क्वायर वाई माइनस एक्स वाई स्क्वायर ओके प्लस फोर वाई क्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो वॉट कैन वी डू लेट्स फर्स्ट डिवाइड दिस इक्वेशन बाय फोर ओके सो एंड आई एम टेकिंग दिस लास्ट टर्म मीन्स वाई क्यू y term in the making it as first term so i will write it as y cube okay and i am dividing both sides by 4 okay then minus 1 by 4 x y square right then minus 9 by 4 x square y and plus a x cube is equals to 0 okay now i will divide the uh, equation by x cube so i will have y by x ka cube then minus 1 by 4 uh y by x ka square right then minus 9 by 4 this is same thing what we uh, like for deriving the equation of straight lines no for homogeneous equation if you remember how we used to derive the uh, equation of lines okay so the same way i am doing uh, same process i am doing here so it will be minus 9 by 4 then y by x okay and uh, what we are left with we will be left with a okay okay so here we have to divide by 4 also so 1 by sorry a by 4 is equals to 0 now i will assume this y by x to be i will assume this y by x to be uh, any constant or uh, sorry uh, i will assume this to be any variable x okay so this will be basically x cube minus 1 by 4 uh, x square minus 9 by 4 x and plus a by 4 is equal to 0 so basically it is a cubic in x it is basically cubic in x and uh, for a cubic equation we know the product of roots right so let's say its uh, roots are its roots are m1 m2 and m3 m1 m2 m3 okay so what will be the product of the roots m1 into m2 into m3 that will be equal to uh, minus a by 4 means uh, that used to be minus d upon a no so d the role of d is being played by a by 4 so uh, minus a by 4 and what is a a is the coefficient of this x cube so it will be 1 only now one information is given here that out of these three lines no two lines are perpendicular two lines are perpendicular what does it mean it means this the product of m1 into m2 or anything m1 into uh, m3 or m2 into m3 whatever uh, you need you want you can take but the information is like two lines are perpendicular so the slopes of these two will be minus 1 right so from here this product of m1 into m2 will be minus 1 so from here we get the value of m3 is at as a by 4 is it okay so we got the value of m3 as a by 4 now this m3 is the root of this equation m3 is the root right m3 is the root of equation so what does it mean it will satisfy this equation right no it will satisfy it will satisfy the equation sorry so uh, since m3 is the root so it will satisfy the it will satisfy the given equation Qu given cubic equation so i will put uh, a by 4 here so it will be a by 4 ka cube then minus 1 by 4 a by 4 ka square then minus 9 by 4 a by 4 and plus a by 4 will be equal to 0 so we can take a by 4 common from all the terms so we will be having a square upon 16 and uh, here we will be have a by 4 into 1 by 4 that is a by 16 and minus 9 by 4 plus 1 equal to 0 okay so a by 4 and what is there uh, 
if you simplify it, these two terms, so one nine, so here it is written as one minus nine by four. Okay, one minus nine by four. So nine minus nine minus nine. Here it is what one plus uh, am I doing any mistake? I don't think. So this will be basically four, right? Four minus nine. So minus five by four. So in place of this, I am writing minus five by four. Okay. So minus five by four equal to zero. Now I will take this LCM. So 16 and uh, this will be a square minus a minus 20 equal to zero. So from here, what we can have, we can have uh, this either a by four equal to zero or a square minus a minus 20 equal to zero. Now a by four cannot be equal to zero because from here we are getting a equal to zero. And if that is the case, this will be like uh, this uh, x cube term will be not there and it, it, it will not represent a three straight lines, right? So this value I am rejecting. And uh, further, we will simplify this quadratic. So we will have a square uh, minus 5a plus 4a. Is it okay? Minus 20 equal to 0. So a into a minus 5 plus 4 into a minus 5 equal to 0. So from here, we get the value of a as 5 and minus 4. So we got the value of a as 5 or minus 4. So I am able to see both the options. So a equal to 5 is this one and a is equal to minus 4. So I think this is a multiple choice question. So both this option B and C will be, both this option B and C will be correct. Okay. So this was our question number 5. Let's move to the next one. Okay, these questions are without options. So let's find. Find the angle between the lines whose joint equation is given by this. So it's very simple. So our equation is 2x square minus 3xy plus y square is equal to 0. Okay. And we have to find the angle between the lines given by this equation. So this equation, this equation will represent a pair of straight lines passing through origin, right? Why? Because this is the homogeneous second degree equation. Now we know the uh, angle. We know the formula to find the angle between these lines. So this will be 2 under root of h square minus ab upon mod ka a plus b. Now if you compare it with, with our standard equation, ax square plus 2hxy plus b by square is equal to 0. So what is the value of a? a is 2 and uh, the value of 2h is minus 3. So from here we get h ka value kitna agiya? minus 3 upon 2 and a is 2. h is minus 3 upon 2 and b is how much? b is 1. So put that, put that, substitute this value of a, b and h in this equation. So we will have 2 into h square means what? 9 by 4, 9 by 4 minus a, b will be 2 and upon a plus b will be 3. So this will be 2 by 3 and within under root we will have 4, 9 minus 8 means 1 by 4. So what we are having 2 by 3 into 1 by 2. So that will be 1 by 3. So our theta is coming out to be 10 inverse 1 by 3. Okay. So this will be the angle between the lines given by this equation. So 10 inverse 1 by 3 will be answer to this question. So it's just we have uh, applied the formula, nothing else. Okay. And we have compared the equation with our standard equation. From there, we got the value of a, b, and h. And we have just simply put that value in this equation. <clears throat> now, here comes the next one. So that the lines, this into y square minus this into xy plus this into x square equal to 0, include an angle alpha between them. 
So here, if you see, um, we have to find the angle between them, right? So if we are going to apply this formula, what we were, uh, what we have done in the last example, so it will be, I think, very tedious. Two under root h square minus a b upon a plus b. So here the h will uh, value of a is this thing. The value of sorry, the value of a is this long term cos theta into cos theta plus tan alpha. Then b is this thing, one minus cos theta into tan alpha. Hmm. So what can we do? So uh, I don't think that applying this formula is going to help us. Hmm. So let me first write the equation. Uh, so one minus cos theta into tan alpha, okay, into y square and minus this thing to cos theta plus sin square theta into tan alpha into x y plus cos theta cos theta into cos theta plus tan alpha into x square is equal to zero. Okay, let's approach this question with our standard process. What I'm going to do, I will divide this complete equation by coefficient of this y square. Okay, so we will have this y square minus 2 cos theta as it is plus sin square theta tan alpha upon this 1 minus cos theta into tan alpha. Okay, this whole complete thing multiplied by xy then plus cos theta and this thing cos theta plus tan alpha upon uh, 1 minus cos theta tan alpha right into x square is equal to 0. So from here is something better we are getting from this so 2 cos theta plus sin square theta tan alpha upon. We can uh, make this sin square theta into, uh, we can express this sin square theta as 1 minus cos square theta, right? So I'm writing here only 1 minus cos square theta. And that will be multiplied by further with tan alpha. So tan alpha minus Okay, first let me write that only. 1 minus sin square theta was there. So it will be 1 minus cos square theta. Okay. And further it will get multiplied with this. So this complete expression will become tan alpha minus cos square theta into tan alpha. So this will become tan alpha tan alpha and minus cos square theta into tan alpha, right, into tan alpha and this whole multiplied by uh, x1. Okay, so further we can take, we can do one thing, we can uh, take cos theta common from this, this term and this term and we will leave this cos theta tan uh, alpha as it is. Okay, I am doing it in next step. So I'm breaking this uh, two cos theta is cos theta plus cos theta and from and I'm taking cos theta common here. So it will be cos theta then one minus cos theta tan alpha, right? So here this is the benefit. Here we can cancel this term one minus cos theta into tan alpha, okay? And this is complete thing is within the bracket. And one cos theta is left here. So that will be plus cos theta. Okay. Plus cos theta plus tan alpha upon one minus cos theta tan alpha. Is it okay? And uh, it will be as it is cos theta into cos theta plus tan alpha upon 1 minus cos theta into tan into x square is equal to 0. Okay. So this thing will uh, get cancelled out. So this will be cancel each other and uh, 
what can we do if cos theta becomes our tan any angle tan beta so we can apply the formula tan alpha plus beta right so what we can do let me assume let for any let for let for any beta we are assuming our cos theta to be equal to tan beta okay because the cos theta uh, the range of cos theta is between minus 1 to minus 1 sorry minus 1 to plus 1 and uh, tan beta is defined everywhere right the range of tan is uh, minus infinity to plus infinity so we can take for any uh, beta for any angle beta we can take that cos theta is equal to tan beta okay So what we can do, we can write it as, we can write it as y square minus cos theta, we can write tan beta, okay, tan beta. And uh, this will be basically tan beta plus tan alpha upon one minus tan alpha tan beta. So this will be formula of tan alpha plus beta. Is it okay? Tan alpha plus beta. And here it will be what? Uh, tan beta tan beta into same thing here also tan alpha plus beta tan alpha plus beta okay this thing was multiplied by x y no yes so this complete thing multiplied by x square and this thing was multiplied by our x y so this is going to be zero now we can further divide the complete thing by x square and uh, so this will be y by x ka whole square and tan beta plus tan alpha plus beta, okay. We are dividing by x square, no? So it will become y by x and uh, this will be tan beta into tan alpha plus beta is equal to zero, right? And if you, uh, we can assume this y by x to be m okay so this will be m square into m and this so basically this is a quadratic in m okay and whose roots are basically our roots are m1 will be uh, tan alpha plus beta right and our m2 will be what tan beta right so the slope of one line is tan alpha plus beta right slope of suppose sup suppose for any uh, line, this is our uh, angle beta. This is our x-axis, okay? And this is angle our this is our angle beta. So this is the slope of one of the line, and the slope of another line is this thing, alpha plus beta, right? So the angle between them them will be this angle will be alpha only, right? This angle will be alpha only. So this is what we need to prove in this question, right? The question was asking that to show the lines that the angle between these lines is alpha so basically if you see this as l1 if you tell this as l2 so the angle between angle between l1 and l2 will be what angle between uh, l1 and l2 will be alpha one because the first angle is tan beta I means slope is uh, this tan beta and the slope of other is uh, tan alpha plus beta so obviously the angle between both lines will be alpha right so this is what we were asked to prove and I think we have done it. So this is our question number seven. Now moving to the next one. Find the angle between the lines represented by this equation. Okay. So we have to find the angle. So basically this will be X square. I'm just writing the equation first. So X square minus two P X Y. Okay and plus y square is equal to z so what is the angle angle is nothing but we used to give the angle by this formula two times under root h square minus a b upon mod of a plus b now if you compare it with our standard equation the value of a is one the value of b is also one and two h is how much minus two p is it okay so 2HXY, so 2H is equals to minus 2P. So the H is coming out to be minus P. So put that. 
So we are having tan theta is equal to h square means what? P square and uh, AB is 1. And what will be our A plus B? It will be 2. So this is our tan theta, right? So tan theta is coming out to be under root of P square minus 1. Or we can say theta is nothing but tan inverse under root of P square minus 1, right? So this is easy only. So this will be our answer to this question. Okay. So now moving to the next one, question number 9. Okay. So in this question, it is asking that so that the lines this, this pair of line x square minus 4xy plus y square. So obviously this will represent a, a pair of lines and the third equation is given as x plus y equal to 1 form an equilateral triangle. So we have to show that three these three lines are the uh, three sides of the equilateral triangle. Okay. And once we are done with that, we have to find its area also. Okay, so this given equation basically uh, x square minus 4xy plus y square is equal to 0. So this will represent a pair of lines passing through origin. So let me just roughly draw. So this will be our first line. I'm just drawing the rough sketch. Okay. So this is our L1, okay, and this is our L2. And the third equation is x plus y equal to 1. So this will be this line, right? If you put x equal to 0, y is 1. So y equal to 0, x is 1. Okay, now the triangle formed by these three lines, basically this, this triangle, the question is asking for this triangle. So this is our origin. Let me call the point of intersection as A and B. So we have to prove that triangle AOB is a equilateral triangle, right? So how can we prove that? So we can write this equation of L1 as uh, y is equal to m1x, right? And we can write the equation of L2 as y is equal to m2x, where m1 plus m2 where m1 plus m2 will be how much? Minus 2h upon b. Minus 2h upon b. So if you see here, 2h is how much? Minus 4, right? So minus 2h will be 4. So this will be 4 upon b. Okay, b is 1. a is also 1. So a is 1, b is 1. So m1 plus m2 is 4. And uh, what is the product? M1 into M2 is A by B. That is uh, 1. Okay. So once we are done with that, our target should be like to find the equation. Okay. So from these two equations, I think we can have the value of our M1 and M2. So let's first find out that. So M1 minus M2 ka is square kar dete hai that will be equal to m1 plus m2 chi square and uh, minus 4 times m1 m2 right so put the value so m1 plus m2 is 4 that is 16 minus 4 times 1 that is 12 so we are having m1 minus m2 as how much uh, plus minus 2 root 2 no, 4 into 3, no? So, 2 root 3. 2 root 3. Is it okay? So, and we are having this equation m1 plus m2. m1 plus m2 is equal to how much? 4. So, we are going to solve it. So, if you solve it, uh, if you solve it, 2 times m1 will be 2 times m1. 2 times m1 will be coming out to be, uh, I'm taking the positive sign, okay, I'm taking the positive sign only. So, 4, 4 plus 2 root 3, that is, if you take 2 common, so 2 plus root 3. So, our m1 is coming out to be 2 plus root 3 and uh, obviously our m2 will be then 2 minus root 3, okay. 
So once we get the value of this M1 and M2, we know the equation of these lines L1 and L2. Now what I will do, um, what I will do, if any, how we can prove that this uh, angle is 60 degree, right? If we can prove that this angle is 60 degree and uh, this angle is 60 degree, we can say that that say triangle, uh, the given triangle AOB will be uh, equilateral triangle, right? <clears throat> so let's try to prove that. So our uh, first equation, this AO or uh, OB, you can say the equation of OB will be or means don't name it in this way. Um, what we can do our the equation of this we can tell say it as. 2 plus root 3, no? So it will be having higher slope, 2 minus root 3. Okay, anyhow. So let me write it as y is equal to m2x. And let me write it as y is equal to m1x. Same thing, not an issue. So what we can do, we can write the equation of OB. OB is what? Uh, y is equal to m2 that is 2 minus root 3x and our equation of oa is y is equal to um, 2 plus root 3 into x okay now we have to find between angle between these two lines right oa and ab okay so we can find it. We can find the tan theta between these lines is m1 minus m2. So 2 minus root 3 minus 2 minus root 3 upon uh, 1 plus m1 m2. That is 1 plus this is our m1 and this is our m2. No? So m1 into m2 will be 4 minus 1. Right? And this complete ka mod le lo. So this will be 2 to chala jayega then 2 root 3 with negative sign but i'm uh, since this is in mod i can write it as 2 root 3 and this will be uh, how much 4 minus 1 will be 3 and 1 4 so this is coming out to be root 3 upon 2 tan theta but we have to prove that tan theta should be 60 degree so please check whether I am doing some mistake or what. So angle between these two lines will be M1 minus M2. M1 minus M2 upon uh, angle between two lines. We used to write in this way. No? M1 minus M2 upon 1 plus M1 M2. So M1 in 1 plus M1 M2 will be how much? 4 minus a square minus b square. Okay, okay. So this will be 3. No, why I'm writing 1. So 1 plus 1, that will be 2. So yeah, we are getting root 3. That means the theta will be 60 degree. So similarly, we can, uh, in the same way, we can find the angle between this, uh, what you say, AB and angle between AB and what? Uh, OB that will also coming out to be 60 degree you can uh, try it by your uh, by your uh, what what i was saying yeah the angle between this ab and ob will also be coming out to be 60 degree so yes we hence we can say this triangle aob triangle aob will be a equilateral triangle will be equilateral triangle okay now uh, Having proved this, we have to find its area also. We have to find its area also. So basically, uh, this is our origin. No? So I will drop one perpendicular from origin to this AB. Okay. So and I'm naming it as OD. So OD will be what? OD will be the height of equilateral triangle. Height of equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. Okay. And uh, 
how to find this OD? We know the coordinates of O and we, we know the equation of AB. Okay. And that will be equal to this OD will be equal to how much? Uh, the equation of AB is given as X plus Y uh, equal to 1. So that will be mod of uh, minus 1 upon under root of 1 is square plus 1 is square. That is nothing but uh, 1 upon 1 plus 1 that is root 2. Okay, so this is our height. And uh, what is the area of equilateral triangle in terms of height? It is uh, h, h square by root 3, right? h square by root 3. So what is h square? 1 by 2 root 3. 1 by 2 root 3. h square is 1 by 2 and root 3 as it is. So this will be our area means this will be in square units obviously so this will be the area of our equilateral triangle okay so hope uh, this is clear to all so area of equilateral triangle in terms of height we can write anyhow the area of triangle is how much area of triangle is for equilateral triangle it's root 3 by 4 a square okay and this a square we 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 just for writing it in terms of h we have to change this a into h so that relation you already know. Suppose this is our equilateral triangle. This is H. These uh, sides are A, A and A. So obviously this H square plus A square by 4. This length will be A by 2. No, That will be equal to A square. Or our H square will be equal to how much? A square uh, 1 by 3 by 4. Right? So from here we can say A square is nothing but 4 H square upon 4h square upon 3. So same thing I have done here. Same thing I have put uh, in this equation. So if you put here, it will be a root 3 by 4. In place of h square, I am writing 4h square upon 3. So this 4, 4 will get cancelled out. And it will be, okay, this root 3 and this 3, here it will be root 3. So h square upon root 3 will be our area. Okay. So this was our question number nine. Is it done or what? Or I have missed something. No, one more question is there. This question number. It is saying question number 10. So here we have to prove that triangle formed by the lines this and uh, this is isosceles if, if this condition holds, then the triangle formed by these lines will be isosceles. Okay. So the given equation is ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0. So from here we will have a pair of lines and the equation of third line is lx plus my is equal to 1. Okay. So now we have to prove that the triangle formed by these lines will be isosceles triangle. Okay. Okay. So what can we do here? Uh, this is basically, this will be our, right? This will be the lines given by the homogeneous second degree equation l1 l2 okay and this is our third side so basically we have to show that this triangle is this triangle is isosceles triangle right and the equation of this line is lx plus my is equals to one is it okay now how can we prove that how can we prove Similar, same concept to what we have done in earlier question. No, we can do one thing. Uh, we can find the angle, right? We can find the angle between this and this. Like, and we have to show that these two triangles, these two angles will be uh, equal. Okay. So let me write the equation of L1 as y is equal to m1x and uh, equation of L2 as y is equal to m to x since these lines are passing through origin so this equation we can assume uh, and one more thing we can have 
this angle between these two lines right now so let me say this angle between angle between a o and o b or you can say o a and o b right? so let me write in this way angle between o a and o b okay so that is uh, let me call it as uh, theta one okay so our tan theta one what will be our tan theta one it will be m1 minus m2 right m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus uh, m1 m2 is it okay and uh, let me call the angle between angle between this line uh, ab angle between ab and ob as theta 2 i am assuming the angle between ab and ob to be theta 2 so basically this thing i am assuming I have assumed this angle to be theta 1 and I have assumed this angle to be theta 2. Okay. And this angle to be theta 1. So, what we can do now? Uh, our tan theta 2 will be m1 minus m2. Uh, so, what is the slope of this AB line? If you see here, the slope of this line will be uh, minus, minus L by M. Right? And slope of this will be m1. So m1 minus uh, minus l by m minus l by m. Right? This will be the slope for this line. Minus l by m. Yes, m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 into m2 is minus l upon m. Okay. Now for uh, showing this to be an isosceles triangle, I am assuming this to be an isosceles triangle. Look, okay. After assuming this to be isosceles triangle, let's see whether we are uh, having this condition or not. Okay. So assume this to be uh, assuming this to be uh, isosceles triangle. I am assuming this to be isosceles triangle. Hence, we can write this theta one will be equal to theta two, or we can say tan theta one will be equal to tan theta two assume the triangle to be isosceles okay let's see whether we are uh, arriving at this uh, condition or not or arriving at this uh, equation or not if arrived then obviously that means the triangle will be isosceles triangle now uh, so this tan theta one will be how much okay we normally write the uh, angle between the lines within the mod right so this will be mod of m1 minus m2 uh, upon 1 plus m1 m2 is come mod will be equal to mod of m1 here it will be plus l by m right and here it will be 1 minus uh, l by m into m1 is it okay minus l by m into m1 okay and uh, but whether it is going to help us or not m1 minus m2 mm. we have taken this angle theta one okay and we have taken this okay let's figure it so uh, mod of A is equal to mod of B. What does uh, it mean? We can say A is equals to plus minus B. Okay. So I think uh, taking the plus sign, no. So if this thing will be equal to this thing with positive sign, I think we will be having M1 is equal to M2. That will be uh, not valid. So let's first open it with negative sign. So uh, I will have M1 minus M2 upon 1 plus M1 M2 is equals to uh, minus of this. So minus of M1 plus L by M upon 1 minus L by M into M. Let's cross multiply it. So we will have M1. Okay. And minus L by M M1 square then minus of m2 and uh, plus l by m m1 m2 
and that will be equal to so i'm just taking negative sign inside okay so now i can multiply it so minus m1 and what minus of m1 square m2 is it okay minus of m1 square m2 and minus of l by m and uh, minus of l by m into m1 m2 m1 m2 okay so if you see here what we are having uh, one two three four one two three four yes so m1 plus m1 will be that will be two times m1 okay and minus m2 here m1 minus m2 so this will be m1 square let's uh, see the calculation whether we have done correct or not so this will be m1 okay m1 minus l by m m1 square then minus m2 then plus by l by m m1 m2 okay here we are having minus of m1 and uh, minus of m1 and minus of m1 square m2 then minus of l by m and minus of l by m m1 m2 so i think i have done correct only so let's see 2 m1 we are having this 2 m1 minus m2 okay minus m2 and uh, what else we are having uh, we can have this thing no? plus m1 plus m1 square m2 so we have covered this this these terms are taken these four terms are taken right plus m1 square and m2 and here we can take uh, l by m common right so if we take l by m common what we are having uh, m1 m2 then here we will have a minus of m1 square okay uh, plus of 1 and plus of m1 m2 plus of m1 m2 is it okay this will be equal to our zero now what we can do 2m1 if we take m1 common from here or m2 common so uh, i don't think m1 if you see here so basically we are having this relation no we are having uh, m1 plus m2 m1 plus m2 will be equal to what minus 2h upon b okay and m1 m2 will be equal to a upon b right so this uh, this is the relation between m1 m2 and uh, our coefficient of a, x square y square and x y so how to utilize this given information we have to find it out like no so m1 minus m2 how can we find it so l by m if you see here uh, m1 minus m2 m1 m2 is fine okay m1 m2 is okay so if we take m1 common here if we take m1 common here what we will get i will get 2 minus 2 minus m2 is it okay 2 minus m1 m2 and uh, minus m2 will be there is it okay if i take 2 m1 then uh, minus m1 square okay this will be plus sign so m1 square m2 plus l by m what we can take here here m1 m2 is okay we are having the value for that and if we see we can take m1 common here right so m2 minus m1 will be equal to zero but no we are not having this information so 
just so here what we can do prove that the triangle formed by lines this and this is isosceles okay uh, let's let's try it uh, one more time because i think we are going nowhere from this equations so just let me copy this let me copy this equation okay so prove that the triangle formed by lines this and this and this is isosceles okay so let me take uh, these lines and uh, these lines so this line is x lx plus my is equals to one and uh, let me name it a b c okay and i am taking this line to be y equal to m1 x y equal to m2 x which is given by this uh, homogeneous second degree equation so anyhow if we can prove that uh, this theta one is equal to theta two right we can say that the triangles are isosceles triangle okay so i think this mistake we have done we have taken the angle between these two lines we have taken this angle and this angle in the uh, in our last attempt so basically that is wrong uh, we have to take these two angles right this theta one and theta two okay so uh, our tan theta one is equal to tan theta two i am uh, proceeding assuming that the triangle is uh, isosceles okay and let's uh, see whether we are achieving this uh, condition or not so our tan theta one will be how much m1 minus m2 so the slope for this will be how much the slope for this will be uh, slope will be uh, minus l upon m okay so m1 minus m2 so minus minus it will be plus l by m upon 1 minus m1 m2 m1 m2 so this will be again plus right so mod is kalelo and uh, mod of this thing what is uh, slope of this line is m2 so m1 minus m2 so this will be again plus l by m and 1 plus m1 into m2 m1 into m2 1 plus m1 it means slope of this is m2 and this is minus l by m so this will be negative sign right and similarly here also it will be minus sign okay so 1 minus m1 into l by m so within the mod so i am opening with it, uh, it uh, this mod suppose mod a is equal to mod b right mod a is equal to mod b so we can say no a is equal to plus minus b so same thing i am doing here so taking positive sign i think it will be uh, giving m1 is equal to m2 right so that is not valid here so i will i am going to open with uh, with our negative sign that is uh, m1 plus l upon m okay and uh, i'm cross multiplying it uh, simultaneously so this will be 1 minus m2 into l by m and uh, since minus se open karenge so that will be uh, our uh, minus m2 minus l by m into this thing 1 minus m1 into l by m okay now uh, multiply it we will have m1 uh, then minus of l by m m1 m2 okay then plus l by m and minus l square by m square into m2 and that will be equal to uh, minus m2 see the calculation part so plus l by m and then a minus l square by m square m2 here we are having minus m2 then uh, plus l by m m1 m2 is it okay minus minus will be plus l by m m1 m2 and then minus of l by m and uh, plus l square by m square into m1 is it okay 
writing here. So it will be M1, M2, M1 plus M2. So I have considered this term, I have considered this term. Then what we can say here, if we are having uh, plus L by M minus L by M, so two times L by M. So these two terms I have considered. And here we can write uh, minus L by M if we take minus L by M, M1, M2. Uh, okay, so it will be minus two times L by M, M1, M2. Minus two L by M, M1, M2. So these two terms are also covered. And here we can have minus two, minus two L square by M square. Okay. Uh, no, M1 and M2 are there, no? So minus L square by M square, M2 here, and minus L square by M square, M1 here. So that will be equal to zero. Okay. So this M1 plus M2, we can write it as minus 2H upon B. Let this 2L by M be as it is. So 2L by M then minus 2L by M, this M1 into M2, we can write it as A by B. And minus, here what we can do, we can take L square by M square common. So we will have this M2 plus M1, right? Equal to zero. And again, this M2 plus M1, we can write it as minus 2H upon B. So minus 2H upon B, is it okay? Yes. So if you see what we can take this uh, BM square uh, LCM, right? And this 2, 2, we can cancel it out from all the terms. So BM square, I'm taking LCM. So we are left with uh, M square. So minus M square H, then uh, M or BML. M is there, no? So B M L, B M L, and here M B. So one M is there minus A L M, minus A L M, and here we are having plus of H L square. H L square is equal to zero. Okay. So numerator, if you see uh, H, we are taking common from here. So L square minus M square, and that will be equal to if you take LM common from here, we can have uh, A minus B. Yes. So this is what we get after assuming that the triangle is isosceles. And I think this is the uh, condition given in the question also. H into L square minus M square into A minus B M. No, not M. It will be A minus B into LM. Okay. So yes, we are getting this. So hence the triangle will be isosceles, hence proved. We can say hence proved. So basically in this question, we stuck in the last attempt, but okay, anyhow. So I'm deleting this slide and yes, this one is our. So I think uh, all the questions are clear to you guys. So uh, very soon we are going to take up the next uh, exercise, okay for this pair of straight lines. So till then, take care, Tata, goodbye.